Nicholas Rossi, rape suspect who have faked his death, was extradited from UK. After being extradited from Scotland, a rape suspect who is suspected of staging his death made an odd first appearance in a US court. A few weeks ago, Nicholas Rossi was flown out of the United Kingdom following a protracted legal dispute in which he maintained that he was the victim of mistaken identification. In addition to accusing him of raping a woman in 2008, US officials claim he staged his demise and organized a burial ceremony before escaping to the UK. Rossi addressed the judge as a my lady and described accusations that he wasn't providing his genuine identity as complete hearsay when speaking in a Utah court on Tuesday with what appeared to be an English accent. He talked in a breathy, labored voice and claimed to be Arthur Knight Brown. In contrast to the US convention, Rossi provided his birthday in British style, stating the day of birth first and then the month. When the 36-year-old was hospitalized in Glasgow in December 2021 due to COVID-19 illness, someone saw him which led to his initial arrest. A year later, the Edinburgh Sheriff's Court declared that his fingerprints and tattoos matched those of Rossi, who was wanted by Interpol. Rossi said he was an Irish orphan who had never gone to America and believed they had been done by an NHS staff while he was asleep in an attempt to frame him. But it became out that he had created a variety of false narratives to avoid prosecution and had changed his name four times in only three years. Rossi informed the Rhode Island media four years ago that he had non-Hodgkin lymphoma and only had a few weeks to live. Later, an online obituary said that he passed away on February 29, 2020. In the course of the several-year Scottish legal battle, Rossi fired his attorneys and represented himself, showing up in court in a wheelchair and wearing an oxygen mask. Judge Norman McFadden said he was as dishonest and deceitful as he is evasive and manipulative when he approved the extradition last summer. He lost an appeal in December and was finally flown to the US at the start of this month. Rossi will next appear in court in Utah on January 26 and was denied bail.